Previously on Fresh Fish All Stars. After an America's Next Top Model inspired photo shoot, the queens face off in a fashion themed challenge live on the Sway stage. But as Envy Hart could tell you, this would be no stroll down the runway. Lady Cassandra left the competition. And Santa came to help the queens film holiday sales commercials. Is your booty hole parched? Irma Gerd is lube. My mom didn't think they were funny. Now after sliding through the first two rounds, they'll be competing in a holiday themed challenge. This time on Fresh Fish All Stars. Christmas and changing it to Jesus, you know, gave it a little bit more oomph. I wanted my performance to not have Christmas music in it because I felt like everybody was going to do Christmas music. And the song, Tell Them That Is My Birthday, Selena Gomez, it's not really her birthday. She Christmas isn't really Jesus' birthday, and it was based off Saturnalia. And on Saturnalia, people would dress up in drag and put on masks and have these wild, crazy, debaucherous parties. So that's why I had my backup dancers with their like weird, you know, makeup, and I'm a bearded, you know, drag queen. I grew this for the Lord. Last month she didn't dance, she was kind of like stationary and they read her for it. And so she listened and said, you know what, I'm going to show y'all what Envy exactly. does. Envy's made her, made her mix on my laptop and if I would have known that that mix would have been that cute, I would have fucked that shit all up. So did you guys like my reveal? Out of the box? Out the bar? Yeah. Uh, I mean, eh, it could have been better. Oh my god, I hate mass bitches. <laughs> Cassandra so, was better so at that. Valentina reference. Yeah. So I was like, how the hell she looks so weird? I shaved my beard. And nobody has ever seen her without her beard. I wanted to look pretty. I wanted, if it was my one time, I wanted to look as pretty as she is capable. Well, Listen, you can try again. again. You can try again. It was horrible and I hated it and I'm still currently growing it back. But I wanted to do that to uh, prove a point to the judges and to the audience that I'm just as much a drag queen as anybody else. I can totally paint the lower half of my face and I kind of wanted to prove it to myself too because I've never done that. Big deal. What do you do? Oh, oh, okay, and she showed her ass. 
I mean, if that's what it takes, I can show my ass. And she has good concepts. And for somebody who's never done fresh fish, she's killing it. I am being honest. Rigor mortis. You want honesty. Okay. Serve it up. I was just like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's kind of how I felt about your whole dreary performance. Oh, well, you know, it probably would <laughs> Somebody hadn't done my song. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! oh somebody did the same song. I was not happy that uh, Venus did the same mix or same song as me. You were in charge of the order that night, were you not? Yes. And you knew that you guys were doing the same she song. Did, did you not? That. She came in ready to do a Valentine's Day performance. She just thought it was going to be all the holidays. I was like, oh, okay, well that's cool. I have no idea what I'm going to do then. And um, one of the girls was like, do a, do a Grinch mix. She was like, bro, I'm doing a nine minute song, or a nine minute mix, and I was like, you know what will happen. <laughs> when Venus showed me her mix, I said, the beginning of that is too long. kind of thrown together. I think that her makeup looked really good for, you know, capturing the Grinch. Performance-wise, it was a good performance. Like, I was walking around stealing shit. The crowd was entertained. Well, let's be real, her mix, when she walked in, was like 12 minutes long, right? Well, was it not? No. It was like every song from the Grinch that there ever was. No, it was not every song. <laughs> it was seven minutes. So let's seven get it straight, minutes. bitch. Yeah. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. She's, she's, and I think that's her problem, is, is that she needs to learn to edit. And she was like, I'm doing Where Are You Christmas? I was like, girl, that's in my mix. <laughs> Is a ballad. I would never do a ballad on a fresh fish. And you know, there are some Americans who are offended by any reference to Jesus Christ. So now we have the happy holiday syndrome. a war on Christmas. I just think that it's just so overly dramatic. And My performance was satire. It was no reference. I thought it was a very just kidding performance of a social commentary, which I think she's really good at pulling off. And I got told that mine was more entertaining. So. Then, oh, after hers. Oh. It was a really good performance. We are going to say Merry Christmas again. I like just the style. I like how she performs. She's always funny, quirky, stupid. To me, like doing a ballad in a competition, unless you are gonna either live sing, cry, or have some kind of, you know, emotional pull, then I feel like it's not a death sentence, but real risky. You did get told also that your shoes were ugly and you wear your hair too much. Oh, I told her every time she wears those damn wedges and she has them today. <laughs> <laughs> I like Lola's Mary though, the best out of Yeah, that was, well, that was. That was the best. Lola came for all of us. Mm, Lola's good. Well, it's good competition. Christmas. All the girls are gonna do like Christmas music. Like, it's already expected. I'm like, let me do something new. A lot of people.
people are going to be confused. What is she doing, Madonna? So, but the costume kind of like put it all together. On the morning of December 21st, 2007, Danil begins experiencing stomach pains. And I was kind of scared because, you know, I'm not a, like, funny queen and shit like that. So I was like, oh, I don't know if people are going to get it or not. A few seconds later, her water breaks. And then that's when I noticed oh, no! his head was coming out. When the baby came out. <laughs> and then she cut the umbilical cord. I was like, bitch, give her the crown. It was funny. It was actually really nice to see her doing like a, a campy, fun performance because I've never really seen her do like the comedy side. That performance was funny. She was on it. Her look was amazing. The mix was great. Everybody, like I was walking around in the room and everybody was just like honed in on the look. concept somewhere at some point before hmm. I wonder where I oh. get I played the, the virgin oh. Man oh. And, did, and I did I do uh, that. that Madonna song and I gave birth to a baby live on stage there was no umbilical cord but it was a live baby was there a Lion <laughs> King <laughs> moment no no but it did that not push it oh <laughs> I do remember that. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't that long ago. So, you know, if I could, no, was that I, if I could help inspire her to win. Yeah. <laughs> you were the last person. Oh, oh, I was also, I believe, bottom, the, the very last. I believe I was number six. <laughs> I held her hand, you know, before she went on. I was like, oh my baby, you are sick. <laughs> I was legit sitting back there, like, holding my head, like, I need to be at home. <laughs> to you. Right. Corrupted oh. Mix, same song as Queen, and then you switch again. So much medicine was involved, so thank you for giving me a recap. Originally the idea was all I want for Christmas is blank, and then fill in the blank would be health insurance because I was sick. The file when I went to go email it was just corrupt, like it wouldn't open. Like I don't know how that happened. It was too late at that point because I can't do my makeup and do a new mix. She had to come up with a performance backstage waiting to go on. better than being in the bottom. Herman's really good. Hi, it's like again, Venus to the front. Yeah! Now Venus, girl, you're in our bottom two as well. I don't know. I don't feel like I should have been in the bottom because like, it had a costume change. It had dialogue that I knew all the words to. Can I get my bottom two to the front of the stage? Glad there wasn't an elimination. Yes, <laughs> me too. Yes. 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 I would have sent you home. No, would oh. you though? Would you though? I deserve to be in the bottom. How do you feel about it? I don't feel like I deserve to be in the bottom. Who do you I think should have been in the bottom? Do. I don't. Uh, okay. Who do you think should have been in the bottom in place of you? Uh, yeah. Either one of them too. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> She had told me that she was gonna shave her beard, and I was just like, I was like, you're gonna, you're gonna get in top three for doing that. <laughs> I guess you could call it a costume change. She is in your top three tonight. Yeah. I feel like she was only put in the top three because she shaved her beard. She shaved her beard and shook her ass. Okay. You do. okay. I'm not gonna say she did a bad job because I liked her performance. 
it was just like her performance like wasn't as good as how her other performances have been rank her three performances one two three the first one was the best I bring to the front of the stage miss lola Pellucci. she has turned it up every single episode and people are not wrong when they say that she's been wronged i kind of feel the same way however it's worked to my benefit because i've consistently landed in the top are you Me, Envy, and Irma are the only three who haven't won. Like, we had to lip sync against each other, mm -hmm. and the song was particularly funny and not dancey, mm -hmm. then, you know, that's my Achilles heel. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to the top three, ladies and gentlemen, in tonight's competition, y'all give it up for Envy High! I, you know, I started the, at the bottom, and then I was safe, and I've been safe. But I think that the dark horse of the entire competition is just kidding, and I think people need to watch out for her because she's flying under the radar a little bit, but she's a smart bitch. <laughs> We are going into the dance challenge, and Envy is the dancing queen of Fresh Fish All Stars. But uh, the most threatening to me right now is Lola. Lola has not been in the bottom. Uh, she's always been safe or in the top. Police nominee! I won, finally. <laughs> Lola deserved the win. I feel like Lola did deserve to win. I do think that she uh, deserved it for this month. I thought Lola definitely deserved I mean, to win. The curse of Lola being in the in yeah, not being recognized, robbed, being same. robbed, is over. I think that I can do well and continue to rise, but this challenge, it's gonna be a struggle for me because I'm gonna have to, you know, do something that I know that I'm not good at and try to sell it <laughs> amongst some strong dancers. If I know how to dance, just give me two shots and I'll get good. <laughs> Like, I've never seen Lola do, like, choreography, but she can move. Envy is definitely my strongest competition because she is a dancing queen. That is what she's known for. Harry Kate might be a dancer. That's the thing about Harry Kate. You don't know what she is. I'm somewhat of a dancer. I'm a better dancer than Jess and Irma. Um, do we have lifelines in the competition? Can we call in another person to dance oh. for us? I could probably outdance James, but I don't want to send James home. But you gotta do what you gotta do. My personal top three would be Envy, me, and probably Lola. Okay, so I know who my top two are, which is Harry Kate and Lola. The top three, I feel like, would be me, of course, Lola, and. I'm probably going to say Harry Kate. Harry Kate is Valentina. Everybody loves her right now. She's always in the top three. But then she's just going to fuck up somewhere. And it's going to be it for her. I'm not concerned at all. Harry Kate is here to make it all the way to the end. Oh. So. Well, it was nice knowing y'all. <laughs> Only its way.